If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is the kid DZD, aka the Drank King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. You know it's all good. I've been noticing a lot of new subscribers have been subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. Just in case you guys don't know what we do here, I make beat making videos, beat making tutorials, all that good stuff like that, centered around the MPC and the MPC software. But what we also do here is we teach general concept of music music making so you can apply it in your own software no matter what it is or what you're using. So for all you new guys, thank you so much for subscribing and if this is your first time checking out a video then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you can join the fam and get up to speed with what we're doing here. Speaking of that, we are going to get into a nice boom bap style beat. I'm going to use a sample to do it. It's a nice chill mellow sample. I already have it pulled up. So what I'm going to do is show you some tricks on how you can get your MIDI grid to kind of work in what you want to do, but still help you out. We're going to use the MIDI grid, but we're also going to keep our own style of feel to what we do. That way we give the beat some swing. We give it a nice vibe. I'm gonna also show you a few things that you can do with your notes on the MIDI grid to make sure that you get a nice vibe with the sample that you're using. All of this may not make sense right now, but if you stick around to the ending of the video, I guarantee you, you'll understand it. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the NPC software and let me show you what I mean by these techniques. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna make this real simple. We're gonna drop the drums first before we deal with the sample. I already got the sample chopped up how I want, laid out on the pads. We did that for making sure that we got the chops right in sample edit when we edited the sample. So now we're gonna just work with some drums. I got some drums here. We're gonna go to 16 level, make sure we choose the hi-hat, and then we're gonna put it in velocity, and we're gonna lay down some hi-hats. We're gonna lay down the kick and the snare, but I'm gonna go it on and uh, put my grid in triplets. Okay, 16 triplets. That way I can do some nice lags, you know, get a nice little swing going with the triplets. It's gonna make sure that my that one of my notes is closer to the next. You're gonna see what I'm talking about when I lay down the actual kick and, and snare pattern. This is going to be really, really nice. I'm telling really, really nice. Let's go to the sample and lay that down. Okay, what I want to do now with the sample is I want to leave it in that 16th triplet pattern because when I lay down the chops, you're going to notice that some of the chops are off. They're not on the grid. They're off the grid, but they're going to fall very fluently with how the drum pattern rolls simply because we have it in that 16th triplet pattern. So check this out. Okay, if you notice, check it out. Let's zoom in. 
This chop is off of the grid right here. Um, this one is off of the grid right here. Um, let's see what else. Uh, all three of these are off of the grid. See, these are off of the grid right here. Um, and I believe we have this one as well. This one is off of the grid right here. See, it doesn't fall on the grids. And what I mean by off of the grid, if you guys notice, see these six one is where it's supposed to fall right here. See six five four six one is where it's supposed to fall. So it's really supposed to go here, but it's right here on the grid. So that's what I mean by off the grid. It kind of snaps these notes to your triplet pattern to kind of follow what your drum pattern is doing simply because you have it in that triplet style feel and you have that swing to your kick drum. The sample chops are now following what that's doing. Listen to it one more time. It has that really, really nice flow to the whole entire sample. So make use of your 16 triplets or your triplet patterns, whether it's um, eight note triplets, four note triplets, 16 note triplets, even 32 note triplets. You make use of those instead of saying staying attached to the grid. It's almost like giving yourself an unquantized feel, but still keeping it quantized. All right, let's drop some bass on that. Nice little bass guitar. You notice same thing notes are off the grid you know these notes right here off the grid you know these are off the grid this one right here is off the grid just kind of trust the way you're playing the notes and trust that the mpc will lock it into where it needs to be it will take your feel for how you're playing the notes and it will lock it where it needs to be so again it's kind of like having your own type of feel where you want to put the notes but the mpc is still helping out to lock it in and don't throw you too much off i'm gonna lay down a nice little piano type melody to kind of blend in with this sample really really good i'm gonna use the uh, the uh avenger pro vst for that just my normal piano that i use and we're going to lay down just some backing kind of chords to kind of back this up. Now, this is the trick about this thing right here. I'm going to keep this thing in one pad. I'm just going to use one pad just to lay down these chords. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it fit the beat. So check this out. Now, this is where your ear comes in. You have to be able to listen to the sample and see what the sample is doing to make the chords fit. This is when you want to keep the beat with the same exact feel, but you want to make it just a bit different. We want to keep it with the same exact feel with these chords. That's why they're all the same. But we want to give it just a bit of a variation. So we have to go back to the sample. OK, we're going to mute all the tracks and go back to the sample and listen to what the sample does. Check it out. So if you notice, it goes high first, and then it goes to a lower key. Then it goes higher, then it goes to a lower key. So it starts off high, and then it goes low. So let's go on and re-engage our, our tracks, and then we're going to go back to the chords. So check this out. What we're going to do is we're going to make this go higher and then lower. So all we do is we just take these bottom notes, and we shift them up first, and then our high right here. So check it out. Same exact pad, we didn't move. All we did was just shifted the notes to fit. Just keep it very, very simple. Understand what the sample is doing and then rearrange the notes and you'll always come up with something. I'm gonna take these middle notes right here and turn this into kind of like a melody. Let's just move them like this. 
take these middle notes right here, move them like this. Okay, let's see what that does. I like what that does. I like that a lot. All right, now I'm gonna use another piano and um, the Elite Pianist to kind of lay down some hits in the uh, in the sample. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna work with the notes to make it fit. So let's do it. Again, our triplet notes are helping out. Look at right here, off the grid. So just trust your triplet notes to give you that type of feel that you need that's gonna actually give you that, that nice swing in your beat. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is take these double hits and throw them off of the grid as well. I'm gonna back them up a little bit. Just these double hits. So let's work with these notes a little bit just to see what's up with them. Let's see. I want this to go a lot higher right here. We're going to put that a little higher. And then we're going to take this one down and put that up a little higher just to give it a little, a nice little blend. Maybe we want to move these down. Okay. Let's see how that works. Just like that, we gave it a nice little feel, man. But you have to listen to what the sample is doing. That way you can shift your notes to kind of fit and kind of blend in with how the sample moves. Okay, I got this bell sound pulled up in Electra X. Check it out. Okay, and this is going to give us our high end part of the track. Just our melody to keep it nice and dreamy, but still simple, cool, and chill. So let's see if we can do it. See how triplets took over again. Check it out right here. Off the grid. And again right here. Off of the grid right here. See what I mean? You just have to kind of just trust the NPC to kind of pick up on your feel and where you're holding up with the beat and where you're lagging on the pads. It's going to snap it right where you feel. This way, again, you keep your feeling of when you wanted to play the notes, but the NPC kind of still helps you out to put it where it needs to be. That does it for the video guys. I hope you got a good idea of what I meant by using the MIDI grid to kind of work for you to kind of make sure that you still use your own style of playing but you also have the help of the NPC snap to grid feature. Just using those triplet notes helps out a lot with that. It gives your beat a little bit of a swing, a little bit of a lag. That way you can kind of put your own personal feel to it. And if you increase those triplet notes, you get more and more of that loose feel to your beats. Also listening to what your sample is doing and shifting your notes around to fit that will give you some interesting vibes. It'll keep the same vibe of the beat that you want, but you will be able to manipulate those notes and make sure you fit exactly what the sample is doing. So give these techniques a try in your own music production and hopefully they work out for you as well. If you wanna find out more about this type of stuff, then make sure you guys take advantage of my live video help sessions. The link is in the video description. All the information is there. Go ahead on and take advantage of that. It's me live on screen with you. That way you can understand more about how to get these particular things done. Make sure you guys join my Twitch as well. That link is also in the video description. For all of you guys that are on there, you guys know how we do on Twitch already. We chop it up nice, we talk, we make beats, all that good stuff like that. I also give you some behind the scenes, in-depth tutorials, some content that you will not get on my YouTube channel. So go on and subscribe to my Twitch. 
make sure you guys do that so you don't miss out on that exclusive content if you guys want to connect with me in any way i'll say what's up instagram is probably the best place to do that make sure you guys follow me on ig at the drink king and also shoot me a dm and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i possibly can that does it for me thanks so much for tuning in this is the kid dzd aka the drink king live from the dungeon palace studios and i will check you guys in the next video peace out